know you all would like to learn a new nunchuck combo. So let me show you how this one works. This is the combo. Let me do it one more time. It's going to go whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. All right, let's get to it. Now this is a syncopated wrist roll. We're doing two different syncopated wrist rolls, but we're going to do a little bit of a redirect. This is kind of a new thing, but it's all variations of old things that we've done. So uh, right hand is going to spin the chuck counterclockwise like this. I'm sorry, clockwise. <laughs> Left hand, palm is facing towards the sky. And we're going to basically rest the rope at the bottom of the wrist like this. The moment it rests on the bottom, this is a syncopated. You probably already know this, but if you don't, that's okay. I'm going to go over it. The moment it rests on the wrist, the chuck is going to want to kind of curve around and you're going to turn your hand with the chuck. So you're going to turn your hand with the chuck like so. What you're going to do is you're going to skip this chuck and you're going to grab the original chuck that you were grabbing from the get go. So you're going to skip this one. You're going to grab it again, but you're going to grab it in a back grip like this. Now what you should notice is if you get a nice speed with it, it's going to want to just fall down afterwards. And that's kind of what we're looking for is for this thing to kind of get wrapped up, almost looking like an S catch like this. But what this will allow us to do is basically, well, it gives us a second. Now it gives us a second to do something. In the past, what we've done is we've pushed our hand down to redirect it, right? So we'll do this motion and then we push the hand down and it becomes a form of a rip. We're going to do it a little bit differently this time. So we're going to do the motion, skip it over like this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to push our hand down, but we're kind of almost going to like karate chop uh, with thumb side through the rope while this kind of goes over to the side. So again, it's going to go here, right? And we're going to kind of karate chop. I'm sorry, with our thumb, it's going to go kind of through here as this hand goes around. It's very similar to this motion here. If you haven't seen these before, where we're doing like these isolation passes. So here, and then uh, I'm going to go slowly. Now, normally I'm not grabbing it, but I'm just kind of showing you. My thumb is going to tuck under, and as this tucks under, my right hand is going to go, is going to whirl with it. So as one's at six, one's at 12, one's at nine, one's at three. And this is basically going to create, like there's this hole, this space inside my chest, and I'm basically pushing it through this space until I have not much left, not much room left, and then I'm going to pop it upwards like this. So again, it'll look like this, whoosh, whoosh like that this is something you should probably practice before you do anything else here and you're going to notice it's going to want to fall and then i'm just kind of pushing my hand through we're doing this motion again where it's like how do i describe this it's going through the center of your chest through this hole that you're creating between the spaces with your arms and then you're popping it up the moment you pop it up it's going to want to go a direction so we're going to kind of actually pop it a little bit more diagonally and the reason why we pop it diagonally is so the chuck can come down into a back to front hand roll. So it's going to basically push it into a back to front hand roll like this. So it'll be here, here, back to front hand roll like that. From there, we're going to do the other syncopated hand roll. And that's going to be left palm is facing outwards. Right hand is going counterclockwise now. We're going to wrap the rope across the top of the hand like this. And then you, this is, you know, you've seen me do this one a lot. You're going to let one chuck pass. So the moment this wraps, uh, you're basically going to let the momentum, you're going to twist your wrist at the speed of the momentum until your palm is facing completely up. The moment it's facing up, you're going to grab the chuck that's on the outside and then you can continue it going. So this is also a syncopated hand roll that we've worked on prior, but this is still good to know. Wraps around. It's going to twist all the way around until your uh, palm is facing towards the sky. You're going to grab underneath. And then the way to really get it out, in my opinion, is to give it a little bit of a left pull first and then drop it down. So left pull, drop it down, spin it over like that. So here we go, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. And then from there you can do whatever. I usually just turn to the side and do a clutch. And that is it, my friends. Uh, there's a lot of little techniques in there. So even if you can't get this whole combo, you can break it apart and learn a bunch of micro combos. A lot of cool syncopated. We just incorporated both in a combo. I think you might like it. So let me know what you think. And it's good to see you all again. Thank you for your patience. Fingers still healing, but it's getting better. Um, write me a comment, send a message if uh, what else you'd like me to cover. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm back. Uh, still moving a little bit slower, slower, but things will get better soon. So I'll uh, talk to you all soon. Hope you all are spinning and killing it.